Uh, we got time the, for a happens couple, all the time. Got time for a couple of emails. Risho 1057thepoint.com or send us your instant feedback through the 1057 the point mobile app. Emails brought to you by Big Dick's Brick Mailboxes, your one-stop shop for all, all mailboxes. Need a new mailbox.com. Hey there. It was really cool to have Mono Tim back. Oh. And learn what a nice looking dude. He's super hot. Yep. Never had actually seen him from when he used to be on with the guys. Just know his very distinctive voice. You two make a very cute couple. That's very sweet. Lots of people saying that you and uh, Tim Riz could be brothers. Oh, he's lucky. What? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I kept being like, stop rooting this for me. Like, everybody no, Tim's, was I love Tim. It was great to see him. Uh, and, and your wife is coming in on Wednesday. What? Well, confirmed. I mean, are, are we confirming it now? You, you said yeah, she great. was available. Yeah, 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 great. Can't wait. This is going to be interesting. We'll do a, a newlywed uh, game <laughs> oh, with, boy. Uh, yeah, with Moon and his that. wife, Mallory. Has she ever been on the air on no. the show? Oh, no. my gosh, that's no. exciting. I need to amp up the, you know, I need your help. I'll help. For the so, game? Well, people said I gave, I, I was way too easy on Tim. Oh, my on, God. On I thought they well, were how fine. Can, you can't you can't do one game for one couple and then ramp it up for another. Yes, I can. What are you talking about? I mean, we oh. we still have to take two or a shot each. Oh, dude, dude they yeah. had seven wrong. It's being ramped up. They had. They it's had, in the process. I can't. Stop, I can't stop wrong? the process. You must stop the process. I, the they process, got shot already, four times. It's already started. What's wrong with you? No, we got shot twice. Did each. We? Four it's shots. Hard, the process is, I have Trump. I have like PTSD, or I like block out what the happened. People are already Once working on it. I can't. Uh, there's no people. You are the people. <laughs> I'll help. I'll help. <laughs> don't do that. My wife doesn't deserve. It's already, First it's of all, already happening. I'm sure I'm going to take all the shots. And the, I don't deserve that. By the way, thank you to everybody who commented on Tim's buns of steel and how he just took the shots and like hardly flinched. I mean, he did text me later in the day at work. He goes. My ass really hurts. So mm -hmm. it wasn't that he, it was not that he didn't feel it. He just took it, man. He just let yeah, it just rip through. Yeah, took it right it. there, huh? Mm. Love it. <sighs> Next. Hey, guys and learn. Long-time listener since the old show. Big fan. Uh, last Tuesday show in the early a.m. when you uh, talked uh, about the past issues with alcohol really struck with me. It uh, stuck with me in a way I didn't expect. Rafe sharing his stories about how and why he quit drinking really stuck, uh, struck a chord with me. And it made me realize that I need to wake up myself. Hearing him relate his story, I noticed similarities with my own pattern of drinking and what he described and decided I needed to make a change. I won't drag it on, give you my life story or anything, but wanted to share the Tuesday show. And all of you talking about the issue truly made me understand that I have to get my crap together. And alcohol is not the solution for me by any means. Thank you for always being a source of entertainment and occasional enlightenment i hope the show goes on for many years to come thanks for everything and all you do keep kicking ass well thank you for that and and you're not the only one that texted that in and wrote him in about yeah. that um i know we're going to send all those messages over to rafe and he's going to try to write everybody back uh that he can he's pretty much off the grid in nashville mm -hmm. and and will be until uh wednesday but uh yeah there's very nice messages coming through and i know rafe's going to see all of them so it's really cool uh all right one more moon only one more? Look, I gotta get out of here. Come on. Okay, um, let's see. I just returned from a wonderful vacation in Montana, stayed at a great VRBO, but the owner had a sign that encouraged guests to take off their shoes at the door, and then there were three pairs of slippers for the guests to wear. Hmm. We didn't wear the slippers, but what are your thoughts? Keep up the great work. Like communal slippers? I guess so. Could Can you, you take the slippers Mark? home? Oh, no, I don't think so. I think they were there. They don't want your shoes on in, in the VRBO. Hmm. Now, my question is... Why don't you just wear socks, then? Well, maybe they did. My question is, is that something you should put on the description of the rental? Hey, no shoes allowed. Yeah. I think so. Just heads up. I think it's fine. Listen, it's their property. It's their rules. But let's disclose those rules because what, what, did, we, what did we decide? Or what did you, you say the study was? Strangers in and out of your house. Mm -hmm. No shoes? How many people have shoeless houses here? Just you? Yeah, I don't make people take their shoes I, I don't make people take off their shoes. Only in the basement, on the carpet. Yeah, now. Old days, old Riz, I never was allowed to wear I shoes. I wear my in the shoes house. in the house. You assumed there was no shoes in the house. There's a pile of shoes, and you said, take your shoes off. I never said, take your shoes off. I would never tell somebody to take their shoes <laughs> yes, off. You unless did. it was down in the basement. <laughs> yes, you did. I think it's a good This is role. revisionist history. I was thinking about for that. For you. Saturday night, I came home, and I had gone into like a restroom, you know, at this venue, and I was thinking to myself as I walked through my house, I'm like, oh man, I got like public restroom germs on the bottom of my feet. I still walk through my house, but it, it did cross yeah. my mind, like, where your feet have been. Maybe, maybe when, the, when I have a kidless house, which has never happened in my life, uh, maybe I'll have some sort of shoe thing. But remember, I don't wear my outside shoes in the house anyway. I got my house, my house yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, listen, if you, have a, if you have an Airbnb or a VRBO, 
Your rules, man. I, I guess so, but... but... But put them on the description, right? Yeah. It's just a lot to ask. It's, it's a lot to ask of people. Also, I think it's, a, it's uncomfortable to have your shoes on in your own house. Take your damn shoes off and relax. I like, kick them off and no, we have a mudroom. I can't room. do that. I, yeah. can't, I can't not be... I can't have not... You and Tim. I, I can't have shoes off. Drives me nuts. I like Why? to... I don't know. I like... To me, when you have your shoes on, or, you know, if it's like late at night and Tim hasn't changed out of his normal clothes into his pajamas or whatever, like, he's just too, it's too tight. You got to loosen <laughs> up. You got to, like, have a good night. But I'm not prepared for emergencies. I'm not prepared to work. I'm not prepared. I just uncomfortable. I just feel like, what am I, like, I feel like it's bedtime. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If, I, if, I'm, if I'm out and about in the house. I'm not putting on your slippers, by the way. Your communal slippers. Right. It's disgusting. Man, I got a bunch of. Got a bunch of great shower thoughts. Mm. I, we gotta go. Okay. It's nine. It's let's nine do, let's do them tomorrow I, morning. I gotta do commercials. Let's do them tomorrow first. Get out of here.